Hi there. This session we'll talk about something very fascinating about one technique that is in Excel and I've seen people rarely use it. And I'm sure that once you learn it, you'll definitely love it and use it all the time in future. The question first. Before us lies a data and what I can see is there are a lot of errors thrown across in this data. Now at the initial stages what I want us to do is get rid of all these errors. Now if you want to proceed with the traditional method the approach is going to be something like this. You select the cell containing the error and you delete it. Now mind you the data could be fairly large so this can also lead to an erroneous step where you might delete the actual number. Also alternatively, alternatively instead of deleting these errors you may want to color these cells containing the error. On the other hand somebody might also ask you that if you are deleting the errors instead of blank cell I want a value which says pending data awaited from the client. Let's see how we do it quickly. First I'm going to choose the data set on the left. So I'm choosing the entire data set pressing Control G. Yes the shortcut key Control G. Now it looks like a fairly simple box but mind you there's a button which is neatly hidden towards the bottom left corner and you notice this button when you click upon special you get multiple options. One of them might attract your attention and that is formula with errors. When you select this item it says all the cells which contain formula and which is giving you error as an output will get selected and instantly you can delete these cells. Not only that since the cells are already holding their position they are already selected you can go to home tab and pick up your favorite color so that all these cells which we deleted right now gets highlighted. Now mind you in case in case you had proceeded with this approach and you had gone to the special button formula with errors you may have also deleted the data inside them but before you go ahead and color do not do not yes I repeat do not select the cell again and then go to color why because if you do that the entire set of selection gets lost and what you are ending up with is just one cell so that was the starting point how do you get rid of all the errors in the particular excel sheet watch our next few videos to see how we fill all these blank cells with the word pending